My name is Manny Contaminolis. I'm with the Rochester Institute of Technology, and I'm the chair of the First Destination Task Force. It's probably never been more important for career services offices to work with their institutional partners to collect graduating student career outcome information. The enormous pressures that are being placed on higher education as a whole, on individual institutions to demonstrate the value proposition are really causing a significant shift within higher education and in career services in terms of focusing more and more effort and resources on collecting this vital information. The NACE protocols and standards for the collection and dissemination of graduating student outcome data were developed and have been articulated and increasingly shared now with the community to help establish a fundamental approach to the collection of this data, to have some consistency in terms of the type of data being collected, to have some standards around how that data should be reported, and also very importantly, the opportunity to share that data with NACE from the individual institution so that NACE can begin to identify and track trending information about where graduates are going, the types of industries that they're working uh, for, what are some of the things that we're seeing related to disciplinary uh, preparation as it relates to career uh, outcomes. So these standards and protocols, which were a first effort and which will continue to be developed and refined over time, are absolutely essential to undertaking that collection process today. A career center can access those standards and protocols through the NACE website and among the first things uh, you should do is become familiar with those standards and protocols and uh, look at how you might be able to apply them to your specific college uh, or institutional setting with an eye toward uh, how you might best work with your institutional partners. So uh, as you think about a process we would certainly encourage you to look at the standards. We would certainly encourage you to become familiar with the standards. We would certainly encourage you to start to reach out to your faculty uh, and academic partners, to alumni relations, to your institutional research uh, offices, and begin to work with them to determine what might be the best methods that would work on your campus in order to be able to collect these data. I think among the best uh, advice or best practices that we're seeing among those many institutions which are looking to implement these standards with the graduating class of 2014, and we've been very excited to see the number of institutions that are attempting to do so, realizing that even if they don't have everything in place for 2014, they'll be able to really learn a great deal and form that basis for uh, collecting these data for the class of 2015, uh, are, are some of the following. One, it's really important to work at your campus to help people understand that these data are important for everyone and that collecting these data is not just the responsibility of the Career Services Office. It really, in time, hopefully, will be viewed as a collective responsibility of the institution. The standards and protocols give you a great deal of flexibility in terms of where that data can initially be obtained and how it is then verified. So that consequently we're moving beyond the simple survey approach uh, and response rates to really gathering data from a variety of legitimate sources, verifying that data, resulting in what we're referring to as knowledge rates. So the, it's terribly important to be able to work with partners, help them understand that broad role within your university setting. Secondly, please keep on the lookout for the continuing information that NACE will be providing. As we start implementing these first standards, there will be a series of webinars, information on the NACE website, some opportunities to share best practices with your colleagues, and uh, in this coming year, we'll certainly be providing more information to the community about campuses that have been very successful in implementing these standards in the first round so that you can connect with some of these folks and learn more about what they're doing.